Yo, welcome to the slow run. All right, we ended off at 1,000 on the dot, and we're going to keep going. Going to keep grinding. Let's go up the ladder. All right, we're playing Claudio Padua, and we're going to play the Sicilian. I'm really liking the Sicilian right now. I'm a little little off the Caro Con game, so we're going to stick with the Sicilian for this game at least. We'll see how we're feeling later. Claudio is a 1,004. And I am 1,000 on the dot. And we'll just continue. We're going to play Accelerated Dragon, which I just put a video out on. So we're just going to develop. Interesting. So he's going for that. We could hop up, but I don't think that's good. So usually at Accelerated Dragon, we develop the bishop first. But in this case, we'll just protect this pawn, which is fine. It looks like he might be playing the, the London? No, no. London, this would be out here, right? Never mind. Getting my pieces mixed up here. So now we will develop the bishop. He might hop in here. Okay. Bring the bishop up. Now if he goes here, he's definitely going to want to be picking off my bishop. So we'll see if he does that. So overall, we'll likely develop the knight out to f6, then castle. That's the likely scenario. He really uh, blunted his bishop in here, unless he thinks he's going to fiend keto. Now he's got a weak square on b2, which we can put some pressure on. He also has a possible pin. So just making some notes here. Okay, he goes right for this. And this is actually a fork because he takes, I take, and if he, oh wait, no, it's not. It's not a fork. I don't want to take here. Oh, I do want to take. I have to take here because I don't want him to take this bishop. This bishop's really important, so that's okay. Now we could just push up e4, e5 here. But that really, is, I don't know if we want to do that this early another way we can do this is develop the knight and then put the pin on and then the single defender of this pawn is gone so let's try that out so our next move will be here to put the pin on and then we can take this okay we have to be careful here forgot I'm missing a pawn now so if we go here, we could bring the knight back. I think that might be the safe thing to do here. Because usually if we had our knight still, we could go with the bishop and take. I'm just afraid he's going to get another attacker on this square. So if I go here, he goes here. Okay, that's not that scary. Okay, we'll do it. Let's see what he does. This might be bad. I'm a little afraid of getting another attacker on this square, but I guess I don't really see another way for him to attack. So this is, I think this is our worst piece, this bishop. So we're definitely okay trading it. Now we might ask him what he's doing next with this by pushing up the pawn here and just putting pressure on it, seeing if he goes back because we're happy to I think we're happy to push up on this side. Okay, so he brings his queen out. Now we can't go here. <clears throat> Get two attackers on this. I mean, if we take, he takes back. We could also... I mean, the pin kind of scares me, honestly. I think it's better probably to push up and just get rid of this pin. He takes, I take, he might pin me again. I take, he takes, and then... Okay, we're just gonna do this because I don't like the pressure here. And actually he can't come down to recheck me because this pawn is here. And we still have this move to pin as well.
Okay, he goes back, which is interesting. This is undefended. Is there a way for us to take advantage of this? If we go here, this is undefended, but we aren't attacking anything going here. Could go here, but then he just pushes down. Well, let's just see if he realizes if this is un undefended. We'll just see. If he does, our next move will just be to push up and put pressure here. We also have this. We also can castle. So there's a few different moves here. Okay, he defends it. We have this. That looks pretty good, actually. Where does he go here? Uh, maybe that isn't good. And then there's no follow-up, really. Except to go back. All right, we're just going to castle. Maybe bring the knight back. Maybe push up e5. We also have this. Two different spots for the queen. We can also go here straight up and hit this twice. So obviously you can't move this. We can go right here, and then we're putting pressure here. And here. I kind of like that. So we're attacking this twice. He's attacking here once. I have a defender. We're attacking the weak B2 square, which could lead to a check. So he's probably going to go here. I don't know. How does he defend this? He can't push down. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to take that. And we can take back. Or we can take this. But yeah, I don't think he saw we were attacking twice. And that is a piece for us. But yeah, we'll definitely, I don't, what does he do here? He probably moves this knight. Here. In which case I probably check. I think I just have to check here. Do I check with this? No. Okay, we'll put the check in. I think he loses his castling rights for that. Hopefully he brings his queen over because then, well, then this takes. Might just be a massive trade. Oh, we also have this. Oops, I didn't see that. Shoot. Well, it's not too late. Well, he might go back. But that'd be bad. He can't go back there. I think you just got to move over or something. But yeah, we're going to take this next. Well, I don't think that does anything. He takes here, I take. It's still a check. He might want to trade queens. I think probably he will. Go here and take that. We go here, he goes here. We'll just go here and attack the queen. Bring another piece in. We also have this. We're also attacking this. This is pinned, so you gotta look at the pin. Now if he goes here, we're gonna go here. We also have check here, so we gotta look at that. I think we put the check in. Or we go here. We could also push up, but I don't think that accomplishes really much. 
Let's put the check in. Might as well. And then we go here with another check. Well, we can't do that actually. We can go here. And then it's a discovered check. That seems pretty good. Because then we can go here and eat the queen. We also might have checkmate soon. But yeah, I think this might go over. Yeah, I don't really know. I could go here and just take that. He takes this. It doesn't, it's just a trade. Oh, I guess then I get that. All right, let's do that. Because I get the rook after. That seems like a good trade. I was wondering if it would just be a flat trade, but I get the rook after. So it's worth it. Also gonna get this pawn. Also gonna check here if he doesn't move. Yeah, we're gonna take all that. And we're gonna take this. Well, we can just actually start pushing up. We can just push this all the way. We can do this. We'll give up a pawn for his rook, no problem. <laughs> this is, all right. That works. So we'll just promote. And I think we can go here, right? We go here here and then here so I think that's fine and that is checkmate nice good game all right quick analysis board that was a good game we attacked very well there so let's check out the analysis board I, I feel like I did not blunder too much there Yeah. Yep, okay, move the bishop out. That's good. He wanted me to castle. Yeah, wanted me to pawn, pawn storm there, but I was just seeing, you know, sometimes you got to see if they see undefended pieces at this level. And then we're hitting this twice. He's got to, yeah, move over and protect this square again. He didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't see that. That would have been nice, but it turned out okay anyways. And yeah, I was thinking about pushing up there, but I didn't. He had to go there. Yep, get the check in. Oh, nice. Okay, we we played well, playing some engine moves. Oh, it want why did it want me to go here? Mate in six, huh? Yeah, I felt like we were close to mate, but I figured this was fine because we get the rook. Yeah, and then it's just GG. Okay, good game. All right, let's update the wins here 47 i gotta remember to update this it's like every time and we will play again so a lot of drama going on in chess right now chess bras hikaru a lot of drama if you like the drama now is the time to watch chess it's a good time for chess if you're into drama jamie zam ch 130 1031 we're gonna do another accelerated dragon so it's accelerated because you're bringing your knight up instead of playing like d d6 and then you're gonna accelerate the development of your bishop as well but yeah lots of drama there's some copy strikes that went down uh, with oops bring the knight up first likely gonna bring his knight up and then maybe we'll see 
a little bit of the old fashioned uh, fried liver attack. Oh, he's going straight for. I think we can bring it. I think the move here is to do this, but then he brings it down. So we're just going to do this. Because then it's pinned, right? And then he pushes down. Oh, then you can take. And then the next move's here, remember, because they got this fork. So he has to play correctly after that. But yeah, so the Hikaru's team, I guess, uh, did a copy strike on Chess Bra's uh, YouTube account. So we're going to go for this, for sure. So you attack that, and you're attacking a fork. And that was the second strike for Chess Bras, which uh, if you get three, your YouTube channel is deleted. So I don't know if there's a way to get it back after that, but basically it's a big deal, especially for Chess Bras. Like, it'd be a big deal for me because that would be sad, but I mean... Chess bras have, you know, how many hundreds of thousands of subscribers. It's a huge deal for them. It's like their livelihood. So, yeah, he went back correctly. Now we will just develop. Probably will want to push me out of there. Um, I'm not going to take that, obviously. We could take that. We could leave our knight here and then take because it really makes it uncomfortable for him to develop his pieces. So I think we'll just leave our knight there, honestly. I think it's fine. He probably will take it, though. Or he's going to go here. No, because the fried liver shut down, so he won't do that. I think, so we want to bring the knight here now. And then we can castle. I mean, you might as well leave this diagonal, the diagonal open if you, if you can. So yeah, he wants me out of there. I'm definitely not taking that. So I think we just got to go back, which is totally fine. So yeah, there was some drama there. I think Hikara said it was his team and, you know, he, he wasn't aware that that had happened. What is... That doesn't work at all. Should we castle into this? Hmm. We can also go here, right? Yeah, we can. I think we just castle to be sure, because he's going to go here for sure. And then I think we just... Oh, we can't go there now. But we can go here. And that threatens both of these. So... He's likely... Well, he likely wanted to move that queen out to go for the checkmate. The cheeky checkmate there. So yeah, and it was pretty funny because it looks like the Chess Bras released like a video of uh, Hikaru wrestling Eric Hansen, another GM uh, on Chess Bras, which I'm, you probably all know this already, but if not, and you like the drama, I mean, come on, you gotta, you gotta like some of the drama. It's pretty funny. Like these guys you look up to acting ridiculously. So I think we just go here. I mean, he's not, he's probably going to try to go here. We could just shut this down. I mean, this guy's aggro, aggro. If we go here, he just goes here. And then we actually can't take. So let's just kick this knight out. Because this knight isn't doing anything. This knight is just trouble for me. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, there was a video of Hikaru. And I guess what happened was he lost some sort of a, a blitz game against Eric Hansen. And they were they were partying. So it, it sounded like they had had a few beers. Uh, which sounds like a great night to me. Like, I would love to be there. Are you serious? That would be amazing. And after the game, I guess Hikaru uh, wanted to take it outside and settle because Hikaru lost. And uh, he wanted to settle it with a wrestling match, which is also right up my alley. I just love it. Like, take me there, please. So now we can go here. I think that's a good move. Although this is kind of scary. 
I mean, this guy is aggro attacking me. Which I just don't like it. We could also push up here, but we could push up here as well. And that would just shut this down, you know? Because we really don't want him to take, I think. I don't know if he would take, honestly, at this level. This move, he has to move. Then we go up, then we take, and he's got a messed up center. We could also push up. So many options. Now, if we take here, he goes here, he goes here, it opens up the diagonal. So I think we just break open the center here. It's a little risky, but uh, we'll see what happens here. This is a little risky, I gotta say. So anyways, it looks like Eric Hansen got a nice chokehold in and <laughs> there was some, there's a long version where there's a kind of drunk sounding Hikaru walking up the stairs telling his second that he's fine. Uh, and But he sounded pretty upset. So uh, if you can't, if you haven't seen that video, just go on YouTube, it's there. All right, so let's see if he sees this. We're double attacking now, actually. So he is in big trouble. He might take here. He might not realize this opened. Either way, he's in big trouble. Yeah, he didn't see. That was what I planned. You got to be careful. <laughs> the double attack on the queen. And we're just going to take this and open this up. Like, that's not our good bishop. So it's definitely worth opening the, the king side up for it. And now we go aggro. Now we get this guy back for all the pain and suffering he put us through. So we're just going to open up a space for our, our queen to come in. And then the queen will check. Let's see. We could sack that, maybe. It's kind of aggro. We could also s pull this out and sack the bishop so that this is check. And then you can take that. So first things first. We're putting the check in. Ooh, wow. That could have been bad. I didn't even see that bishop. It's funny because I was just watching a Daniel Nardowski video about like how most mistakes are made after you win a piece because you let your guard down a little. So you got to be careful here. Um, so we can go here. And this here. I think this is good. And it gets us out of this pin, which I don't like at all. This is protected, so he's gonna go here, we're gonna go here. And I guess he goes here. Like, how do you get out of this? He's gotta go here and then here. Should we use this one or this one? I think we use this one. I mean, he can go here, he can't go here. So I think he's gotta go here and then we take. I think that's the only move he has. Yeah, and he just resigned. All right, we're gonna update the text. I don't think we're gonna analyze that one. It was beautiful, that attack was beautiful. Actually, maybe it is worth it, just a quick analysis because, you know, what we did, and this happens a lot at this level is, you know, they try, they bring the queen out very aggressively. And we took advantage of that by just, uh, we just played our game. We just developed, we built our position out. And then when the time was right, we struck. And it was pretty, it was a pretty nice combo double attack. So re by breaking open the center here, if he takes, you take. And then this, this is open and you're attacking the bishop. So it's a double attack. And really, he's just got to move his queen at this point. He's got to move his queen out of the way and like let go of his bishop. But obviously, he did not realize that this diagonal had opened. Very tricky. And yeah, it's downhill from there. All right, we're going to get one more game in. So my thoughts on the drama. So first of all, it's interesting because I am a content creator, right? So I have a little insight into this whole idea of copy strikes and copyright. I'm obviously not a lawyer, so I don't have any. All right, we're gonna take that. I really wanna play London. This guy's gonna play the England Gambit here. 
which yeah, he is playing the England Gambit. Now we definitely want to stop the check. So his idea is to go here and then do this. So we're going to stop the check. We're going to let him take that pawn. And we're just going to develop from here. This guy's got question marks on his name. Okay. He wants me to take that for some reason. I don't think you're supposed to take the second one, but I'm trying to see, it just lets him develop. So I think we just push it up and let him, I'm getting weird vibes from this guy already. To be 995 with a question mark is weird. And then playing like this style. Like he's he's playing a system. I think you just push it up and he has to take. All right, so we're just gonna play as normal now. Protect this pawn, push it back. I mean, we conceded a little bit, but why does he wanna trade queens here? We aren't trading queens. We can go here. I guess we just go here. But yeah, we aren't trading queens. It's probably gonna go here. But we actually have a pin. If he does go here, I probably should have actually gone here. Why does he wanna trade queens so bad? Actually, yeah, it just makes, I'm not trading queens, bro. We're gonna put the pin on. He just offered a draw. Now the problem here is I can't get my knight out to put additional pressure on. So if he goes here, that'd probably be a good move. All right, so what do we do here? I think we just develop. It's probably gonna push down, we'll push out. This is gonna get very complicated. Wow, he castles long. So we can take, he takes back, we get this. I think we just do that. And then this here, okay, we gotta check. Oh, wow. I guess we have to take here. This is kind of unfortunate. I didn't see that. We can check, no, we can't check. If he goes here, we gotta take back and then castle. This bishop is covering. This is sketchy. I, I think I'm still gonna cast along here. This guy really wants to trade. I'm not trading queens, so. I'm just not gonna trade queens. Oh, shoot. Wow, we saved this. <laughs> we saved this somehow. Oh my God, that was intense. I think I got pretty lucky there. 
I mean, I'm still not in great shape, I think. All right, let's just castle. Oh, baby. Discovered check to take the queen. Oh, but then he takes my queen, but then I take his rook. Yeah. He's got to take. Then I take the rook. Then I take his bishop. Ooh, he tilted. He tilted at the end. <laughs> this game. One of these games. Oh, man. He tilted. I've been there. I've done that exact thing. But, yeah, this guy uh, just threw that bishop up there trying to attack the rook and just tilted it off. And then he left the game. <sighs> that one feels good. I thought I was done. I thought I was done, so. <laughs> Oh, man. That is a rush. We're claiming that victory and feeling good about it. Oh, we are claiming that victory. Man, oh, man. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful game. Oh, just the adrenaline rush for that one. All right, so we're going to do the analysis board for sure. Let's update the text. And let's just get into where I messed up. It wanted me to take this, but yeah, I made a huge mistake by not going here. And at this point, I was down about three. I threw the check in and I was willing to, uh, I knew I was way down. So he, it looked like he was going to just repeat to a draw and then he threw the knight in. So I was just like, I'm going to look for another check. And then I realized here's a check. And yeah, he didn't cover. Yeah, if he would have gone back, then he's pointing here and I still lose my rook. But instead, he tried to cover the check. Took there. And then, yeah, he didn't move out of the... Uh, oh, he, when he moved this, yeah, the discovered check. <laughs> Yikes. And then he tilted and just threw his bishop. And then he closed out the game, slammed his computer, threw it out the window. And uh, we'll see him again in about a week when he buys a new laptop. All right. I've been there. I, I mean, I actually have not done that. I, you know, I've never even broken a mouse. Okay, come on. I'm a peaceful loser. Very peaceful. Sometimes. All right. We're going to call it. GG. Okay. Did I, I think I added up all the wins. 49, 1, and 1. And we got to, what did we get to? 10, 22. All right. We're moving up. Moving up. Peace.